friends, I'm out in my garden today, actually in front of my house. There might be some traffic that come by here in a minute. I just thought it'd be different to do a vlog today, and I thought I would do maybe two. So I'm going to put two different vlogs out today. One of them is going to be one of the mental ones about weight loss, and one's going to be a food, food tip. I thought I need to think I need to go ahead and delve into that. And, and forgive me, I'm doing this low tech. I've got this to read off of rather than a computer screen, rather than a teleprompter. I'm not trying to be fancy. So today I thought what I'd do is I give tip number two, which in my estimation is not to get obsessed about weight loss. Don't obsess over your weight. Let me read it to you what I'm gonna say, then I'll make some commentary. Uh, don't obsess about your weight. Stop thinking about it all the time. Don't set up a pie in the sky agenda of how long it will take for you to lose X amount of weight. I do that all the time. Don't play fantasy games with yourself about how you're going to lose weight and exercise a lot only to see your fantasy come crashing down when you fail and go on an eating binge or you gain a pound or two and now and again. Weight loss is a process that doesn't have to happen fast. It doesn't have to consume your mental or physical energies. Just find peace with hour by hour, day by day commitment to healthy eating and moderate exercise. So let me go over the finer points of what I've just said. <clears throat> I don't know if, um, okay, re the reason I'm talking here, I feel like I can talk from experience is because I've been one of those people, like I say, it's been on the roller coaster, up and down, up and down, up and down. For those of you here again, that only have 15, 20 pounds of weight to lose. You've never really had a problem, a big problem like somebody that's, had, that's been 70, 80, 100 pounds, 150, 200, 300 pounds overweight. We all know uh, what I'm talking about here, which is that sometimes you'll just play little mental games with yourself. You'll decide, hey, you know what? I'm gonna commit to getting in shape. By golly, I've gone as far as I can possibly go with this. I can't stand it any longer. I'm gonna quit eating uh, Fritos and, uh, and snack cakes and pies and ice cream. I'm gonna quit eating uh, just crazy amounts of food and take out fast food, burgers and fries and all the things. And I'm gonna start eating carrots. I'm gonna start eating celery and, and broccoli. And you know what? I, I like, uh, you know, parsnips or something. I can eat lettuce. I can, I can live off salads. Don't be crazy like that. Don't be obsessive about your eating. Don't let it consume your mind and take you down some fantasy trip. The other thing that happens with me, it's happened many times, is I might lose five or six or seven pounds in the first day of trying to go on like a weight loss uh, little trip or journey. I might lose five, six, seven pounds in the first two or three days. And uh, sometimes you're just losing water weight. Sometimes you're losing some fat because you know, you're heavier and you burn more calories than regular people. But what will happen, you'll start sitting there and thinking, wow, in the first three days, I've lost seven pounds. Now let's, let's say that maybe next week I could lose five pounds. And what if, I, what if the next week after that I could lose five pounds? And the next week after that maybe I could lose five pounds. I could, surely I could lose five pounds a week if I've lost seven pounds in three days. And you start playing that game with yourself. And, and, and I've actually gone as far as to write out a spreadsheet for how long it will take me to lose 100 pounds of weight. And then I, I make that spreadsheet and I put it on the wall and I start like making notes and stuff on it. And listen, that, that sounds crazy, doesn't it? But we people who are desperate to lose weight, we do that stuff all the time. And it is crazy. We're doing, setting up unrealistic, obsessive sort of goals for ourselves, and we're creating a fantasy. And, and, and I talk about obsession. How many times have you gone, if you've been on a weight loss trip, and you've weighed yourself in the morning, which I think it's good to weigh yourself every morning. A lot of people say it's a good thing to do. But then maybe you go weigh yourself at lunch, or you, say it's a weekend or something, you find out you've weighed yourself four or five times during the day. You weigh yourself after going to the bathroom, you weigh yourself after eating breakfast, after lunch, and you're looking, and what you're doing, you're setting yourself up for discouragement. It's obsessive. Don't let yourself fall into any sort of obsession. Keep weight loss and health at the forefront of your mind, but don't be thinking about it all the time. Don't be creating some sort of fantasy world where you're gonna succeed in a super fast way. As I said here, weight loss is a process that doesn't have to happen fast. This past time, what I'm doing different than I've ever done before in the hundreds of times I've tried to lose weight and get control of my health. What I'm doing this time is I'm kind of chilling and taking it easy and doing the things that I know are right and not always the things I know that are right. Sometimes I'm just doing the things that I know are better better than the other option that hasn't worked in the past. And I'm gonna have a little segment on that, choosing the better things uh, rather than the 
bad things. Doesn't always have to be, you don't have to go to the extreme. You don't have to go from uh, eating three cheeseburgers and fries and a milkshake and then go to eating a Southwestern salad with no dressing on it. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to make, make that move. And we'll, we'll go more in depth of that with the next uh, step on this in this little journey that I'm trying to give here. But like I say, just find peace with hour by hour. And I mean, when I say hour by hour, I mean, you know, consider every choice you make uh, uh, about what you eat and about how you move. You know, don't, don't go crazy thinking about it. Do your work, do your day, do your daily thing. But think about every couple hours getting up and moving around. Uh, think about, you know, I'm bored. Man, typically I would go and I'd eat something. Maybe if you're bored, rather than getting up and going and getting something to eat or something you're watching television, maybe you get up and you iron your clothes or something. Or maybe you do something kind of fun. Maybe you mess with your social media while you're in a, a period when you might be bored. Or maybe you just, you just do something. Just do something constructive. Think of the constructive things you can do to keep you uh, centered but not obsessed. That's the key. Centered on your goals but not obsessed by them and know that it's not going to happen fast and know that you are going to fail from time to time i mean some mornings i might wake up and feel like i need to eat seven pieces of bacon <laughs> you know and and by golly i do it and then i think okay well shouldn't have done that wasn't a, wasn't a great thing to do just compensate with the rest of your day just chill just don't let anything get you to a point where you're worked up into a frenzy don't be uh, contrary to what I'm doing here with this vlog, don't talk about it all the time. I am talking about it a lot because I'm just trying to convey my thoughts. But on a day-to-day -day basis, this time, I've lost weight and I've lost weight consistently by just basically not making such a big deal over it. That's really all i got to say for this segment. I'm getting ready to record another one right after this. I'm going to share both of these today, and this next one will be a food tip. Peace to all who watch. Subscribe to the channel if you like.